In the northern region of ancient Egypt, a large obelisk has been found, which is said to be the biggest ever discovered. The stone quarries in Aswan House, which is an unfinished obelisk, has mad scientists pull their hair out and cause a permanent denial for historians. A discovery like this is likely to split the academic community in two. Archaeologists are now arguing that the female pharaoh who wear also known hat Shepsut, did actually sanction its construction. Of course, modern engineers, who are clearly in massive opposition, say that the dynastic Egyptians did not have the type of technology capable of building such a structure. It is nearly one-third larger than any ancient Egyptian obelisk ever erected. If finished it would have measured around 42 m, approximately 137 feet, and would have weighed nearly 1,200 tons. Aside from the problem of shaping it, how were they presuming to lift it out of the quarry? See that Brian Forrester, one of the world's most recognized experts on the subject. The conventional academic community had suggested that the obelisk shape was forged with diorite stones. Brian Forrester was very quick to shake down these misguided allegations, noting that the diorite had a hardness of 6 to 7 9, the diamond is 10, so it matches the same hardness as granite. This technique would have proved very unproductive and quite possibly, well, impossible. It is possible that Romans and Greeks also created fractures in the stone, which in theory, was done by inserting wooden wedges and then soaking the wood in water. It would then swell producing a crack along the line. Many conspiracy and members of the UFO community are suggesting that this could be the work of the Nephilim. Watch video below.